Gilman reporting for Katie Chat at Smithy TV in downtown Toronto. I'm here with Emily Coots, producer and actress of Barn Wedding. How does it feel to have the feature screening at the Canadian Film Festival? It's really exciting. I'm, I've never been a part of the Canadian Film Fest. I went um, to a couple last year, but I, I've never been involved. And so it's super exciting. And, you know, you kind of get lost in the post-production aspect of the film that you forget that people are actually going to watch it. And that's like blowing my mind right now. I'm like, wait oh, what? Everyone's going to see it next weekend? That's so crazy. And it's it's such a, I mean, Kelly and Sean both talked about this. Like, it's really cool having it in Toronto mm -hmm. um, and to have everyone support it, like sporting it and coming out. And it's it's going to be just a fun party time. Ooh. It's going to be nice. <laughs> and this is the first film that you've produced and you also star in the film. So how stressful was that? <laughs> <laughs> it, was, it was crazy. Like, if I would have known what I know now then, I would have been like, whoa, 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 what? <laughs> What am I doing? Um, luckily, I met Kelly, who just like does everything, and she kind of was like, "Come here, I'll show you kind of how to do it." And I'm like, "Okay." Um, and I mean, the story was so inspiring to me, and like the the way we created the project was so inspiring. So as an actor, it was it's a dream project because you rarely get to work in a studio before and get to create like you know what you want to happen and. Um, try to convince the writer that while you're working with certain actors that you want them to be your brother. Like, I was working with this actor. I'm like, I think he's going to be my brother in this film. Kelly's like, I'm not sure yet. <laughs> I'm just trying to manipulate the story to be how I want it. But uh, it was a fun creation process. And then, I mean, the producing aspect was, was a whirlwind. And because we had our locations lined up and we were like, this isn't really enough time to complete the pre-production stuff so it was just like every day Sean and I were like how do you make a schedule okay we'll just learn how to make a schedule and just tried to do it and um it was fun and and during the filming of it it felt like we were at like some weird film camp because we were exhausted and just everyone was just learning how to do it it was just yeah and uh have you been to many barn weddings yourself or any? I haven't. I mean, I've seen them, but I haven't been to one. I don't think I've actually been to one either, but I grew up in a small country town, and there's like a lot of barn weddings that happen, and uh, <laughs> the mason jars and whatnot. Yeah, so um, I thought it was hilarious what Kelly wrote when I read the first draft, and uh, thought it was really real, and especially because it's such a young person story, too. Like, the people that are getting married in this story are max 25, 26, and so it's um, it, during that time in my life, which I am at right now, there's a lot of like conflict in terms of what you believe in and what you want your life to look like. Mm -hmm. And um, sometimes it's too easy to focus on like what it looks like instead of what it feels like. Mm -hmm. And my character is just thrown into a whirlwind of like feelings. <laughs> Tell me a little bit more about your character. Uh, my character's name's Emma, and she's a fashion blogger in Toronto. And she's got really cool friends, and she's got a really cool life. Um, she lives downtown with her fiancé, um, Colin, played by Brett Donahue. And she lives with also with her best friend, um, Jessie, played by Kelly McCormick. And so um, they do lots of, like, amazing stuff. She's got her life together. She knows what she wants. Um, and so when she's, uh, when her, like, fiancé gets a job opportunity that makes her have to push her wedding up into February when she wanted the dreamy August long curls with flower crowns and stuff. Um, she She's like, you know what, we're going to do it anyway. So everyone comes up um, for the weekend to this barn where she's had it booked. And they decide to throw the wedding anyway. And uh, she, through that weekend, starts reflecting really honestly with herself and with her family and friends about what her life is feeling like instead of what it's looking like, like I said. And um, she's, she's faced with some tough decisions and some tough, like, conflicts. And how did you guys find the barn that you shot at? Um, it was funny because we had the location for the cabin that they were staying at, which was Sean's parents' house. And we didn't have the barn when we started filming. So that was like a huge stress. I'm like, we're filming barn wedding and we don't have a barn. Uh, so we, we had an alternative option, which was to like fake it in the attic, which would have made it like 
too, too, too windy. And uh, so we sent out our DOP and our sh um, shooter, Julian, and uh, Peter Luchek, is that how you say it? Lustek um, is our DOP. And uh, they went out, I bet, like, I think it was like four days into filming, and they were like, hey, we're going to just drive around the country and we'll find a barn. And they're driving down the road with Suzette also, uh, um, and Suzette McCanny, and, sh and, sh and Julian was like, I, I think I uh, dated this girl in high school, and she lived with these, like, people that weren't her parents on this farm, so let's drive up there and just see what they're like. <laughs> they open the door, and it's the two most, like, amazing people in the world, Lynn and Gord, and they own this farm, and they're just like, you're making a movie? That's so cool. Come in. Totally just gave us their house, their barn, their everything. He ended up making a cameo as the like as one of the characters that I almost just gave away something, but I <laughs> didn't. Um, anyway, so yeah, it was, it was an interesting story. It was an on-the-fly uh, wow. situation. <laughs> Amazing. Yeah. And what was it like working with your wonderful director, Sean Benson? Um, it was it was an awesome experience. It was a really intimate experience, and it was um, it was hard because we were pulling long hours. We were both producing, as was Kelly. Um, I was in like you know scenes from morning to night, and then would have to sleep in a single bed with one other person and squeeze in and we were just like all like there were people on the floors there were people on the couches it was awesome and we'd sleep for about six hours and then get up and do it again so it was like a really exhausting experience but Sean's like energy definitely kept the uh the group together and kept us inspired and really exciting and then you eventually get so tired you just get delusional and Kelly and Chris just sang every morning and we just like get up like zombies slowly and start and it was it was just so fun like the filming of it was definitely memorable and where's the best place for us to find out more information on you and barn wedding online you can Facebook me Emily Coots and uh, barn wedding is also on Facebook and there's links to our trailer on YouTube barn wedding trailer um, and then Barn Wedding 2014 on Twitter, Coots Emily on Twitter, Perfect. the opposite. Yes. <laughs> well, thank you so much, and congratulations on the film. Yeah, thank you. Thanks for having me. I'm Katie Ullman, reporting for Katie Chats at Smithy TV in downtown Toronto. <laughs>